Organic chemistry is the study of hydrocarbons. We're going to look at alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes. We'll also study just a couple naming rules. Organic chemistry studies the chemistry of life. It also is the chemistry behind pharmaceuticals and plastics. Here's a list of hydrocarbons you'll want to familiarize yourself with. Methane, ethane, propane, butane, pentane, hexane, heptane, octane, and so on. Notice that methane has one carbon, ethane has two, propane has three, butane has four, pentane has five, hexane has six, and so on. The prefix meth, eth, prop, that can clue you in into how many carbons the molecule has. Notice that this is the molecular formula in this column. You're already familiar with that. You're also already familiar with the structural formula, or the Lewis dot structure. There's another way to write some of these, too. It's called the condensed structural formula. So you'll probably see the name sometimes. Other times you'll see the molecular formula, the structural formula, or maybe even the condensed structural formula. So you want to familiarize yourself with all of those. An alkane is a saturated hydrocarbon. That is, an organic compound consisting of carbon and hydrogen, where all carbon to carbon, bo carbon bonds are single bonds. It will follow this template, CN H2N plus 2. For example, in this case, N is 2. That means that 2N plus 2 would be 6. This molecule is called ethane. We saw that on the previous slide. And it has two carbons. And the rest of these will assume are hydrogens. An alkene is similar, except that it has double bonds. For example, C2H4. It has two less carbons because there's a double bond here, leaving less space for hydrogens. This molecule is called ethene. Alkyne is a hydrocarbon that has a triple bond. For example, C2 H2. In this case, this triple bond only allows for one hydrogen on each side. We call it ethyne. So notice that alkanes end in ane, alkenes end in ene, and alkynes end in ine. Ethane, ethene, ethyne. And the big difference here is alkanes are single bonds, alkenes are double bonds, and alkynes are triple bonds. So as a review, the prefix indicates the number of carbon atoms present in the parent chain. The parent chain is the longest chain. For example, if you see the prefix meth, that means one carbon. The prefix pent means five carbons. The prefix oct, that means eight carbons. Additionally, you can tell quite a bit from the ending of the name. It's an alkane if it ends in ane, an alkene if it ends in ene, and an alkyne if it ends in ine. And once again, this is single bonds, double bonds, and triple bonds.